everybody I'm back this week to do a nice little filling mug meal we're gonna do Italian meatball stew you're gonna start out with your typical oversized mug how cute is this one and um, you're gonna get some pre-cooked meatballs I got Italian style I throw about between six and ten depending on if you get like smaller meatballs to bigger meatballs you want I like a lot in mind so I throw ten in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you have smaller ones, you might be able to put more in, but you want it about that full. So we're gonna pop these in the microwave for a minute, give them a little bit of a stir, then do them for another minute. You're going to need a half a cup of a marinara sauce, any flavor you want. Mine just happens to have some garlic in. A third a cup of drained mixed met vegetables. Again, any kind you want. Um, I'm using mushrooms in mine. I'm using two tablespoons. I have salt and pepper for flavor. And we need a third a cup of beef broth. And I have some once fresh mozzarella chopped up to put on top when we're done. With a little bit of parsley flake then. Like I said, it is a quick, simple meal that you can make on a budget too because none of this costs very much. Most of it I already had in my freezer. I had to buy the meatballs. I happened to be out. I needed to go to the grocery store anyway. Worth it. I actually went to Walmart and cut a couple new Pokemon that I didn't have. Yes, I started playing Pokemon Go. I'm not like huge into it because out here where I live in the rural area, you don't really have anything. But when I go in town, I'll look around. I don't go on big hunts or anything. Okay. So we're going to get our meatballs out. I'm going to stir them around a little bit because they're still a little cold. And we're gonna do it for another minute. Then we are going to add in our sauce and our beef broth, our veggies, our mushrooms, a little bit of salt and pepper. Then we're gonna do it a minute at a time until it's heated through. Again, like I've always said before, your microwave might take a little longer, more, a little shorter time. I just wanted something like I said super easy and super simple for you guys I've done some longer episodes recently so I thought I'd do a nice short mug meal episode for you guys I'm like I need to get back to my mug meals and mug desserts and everything I actually have a couple new mugs coming <laughs> I have so many mugs already it's not even funny but Lakeside Collection the catalog I had a couple new ones and I was like okay I can't get all of them but I am gonna get some of them <laughs> I'm starting to smell the meatballs. Yum. Okay. You can probably hear them sizzling. Give them a little bit of a stir. My, the steam's rising, which is good because we want them cooked through. Now we get our half cup of marinara sauce. Like I said, mine's got garlic in and everything. Yum. If you don't have marinara sauce, pizza sauce whatever it's gonna, it'll work in a pinch I'll just say marinara sauce because that's what I'm using now we need a third a cup of beef broth just pour that right in there Ooh. what are we up to next a third a cup of mixed vegetables you can put that right in there Get your two tablespoons of mushroom pieces. Give everything a good stir. Good, careful stir. <laughs> Since there are meatballs in there, we don't want to flop anything out. If you think you don't have enough broth in there, and you want to add a little more to maybe cover some more of your vegetables or depending on how many mushrooms you used you can go ahead and throw a little extra in there if you don't need to you don't have to I put a few more meatballs in mine than maybe it calls for but I like a good loaded stew okay now I'm just gonna do a dash of salt Teensy weensy dash of pepper because I like to use my white pepper. 
give it a good stir and then we're gonna put it in the microwave a minute at a time oh, give it a good stir make sure I get all my yummy salt and pepper and spices through there okay As you can see how good this looks it's a very loaded stew so my friend and I did I did get my tickets to New York Comic Con. I am so excited. I'm going to be going on Friday and Saturday. So yay. Um I hope I see you guys there. That would be so much fun. Get a big group together. I'm so excited. Uh, like I said, my main goal is to get Stanley. Since it, he has said before that this is his last year there, to save up and get his autograph and a picture with him. I might not get hardly anything else this that weekend. Um, also, I did see uh, the guy who plays Joffrey on Game of Thrones is going to be there. So, if after I meet Stanley and everything, um, I have some money left, I might get my picture taken with him. I just think that would be fun. Okay, I'm still a little bit of cleanup here. Let's see how warm it is. I'm gonna take a little sip of my bra. I definitely needed to go another minute. Oh, it's really good. It has a lot of good flavor just because I use, you know, Italian style meatballs, um, a good flavored marinara sauce, good salt and pepper. So, Million pink salt. I love this stuff. It really adds an extra good flavor to everything. I got this a while back because it was cheap. The market I went to. You can tell I use it a lot. And this white pepper. It's a little kickier than black pepper. I like it that way. I thought yes, you can use regular salt and pepper. You don't have to use the silly stuff that I do. So I have some parsley flakes to put on top here, and I chopped up some fresh mozzarella. Um, you can add just shredded cheese, powdered Parmesan, any kind of cheese you want on top. I recommend a softer white cheese uh, just because it's an Italian meatball stew. Okay, where's my spoon? So I'm gonna taste this when it comes out. I hear sizzling. Perfection. You guys are gonna love this. So, you can see how good it looks. All the flavors that you've put in there have really come together. So I am gonna sprinkle my mozzarella or whatever cheese you, Parmesan if you choose to use it, right on top while it's still warm so it can get all ooey and gooey. I'm gonna throw some of the cheese I'm gonna get a few parsley flakes and put on top. If you have fresh parsley, that would be even better, but since I have some dried parsley, I'll put that right on top. Da -da -da -da. And there you just made, in under 10 minutes, an Italian meatball stew in a mug. Perfect serving for one. Look how cute that is. I am going to try it in a little bit. Right now it's piping hot. But trust me, I've made this before. It's really good. It's a really hearty filling stew because you have all those meatballs, all those vegetables, all the all the mushrooms, all the good stuff in there. So I've got a really good treat for you guys next week. Thank you for joining me this week. Like, share, subscribe. And thank you so much. I really love hearing from you guys. The compliments really keep me going. Thank you. And I'll see you next week.